Good morning everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dirt Green Steel. So uh, yesterday we got rained out. I didn't get to plant anything yesterday. Uh, got some disking done yesterday on uh, ground that we had uh, plowed under that was uh, filter strips around the field between the field and ditch. So I got all that prepared to plant which I'm going to eventually make it there to plant that today. But uh, first I need to finish up where I left off Wednesday and uh, get this farm all finished up. I really don't have much to do just from there over to the uh, ditch line basically. I've got, I've got three passes over there planted so it won't take me very long to knock this out real quick. So we did do a variety change on beans so I need to reset the planter for that. I need to slow it down a little bit because these uh, are a lot more seeds per pound than the last ones, so I need to slow it down to keep our population where we want it. So to slow it down, okay, come on, get on there. There we go. Actually, there's an electric motor that runs this, but for some reason it's not working real well. So I just put my little crescent wrench on the uh, shaft here, on the little gearbox, and I just turn it with my wrench. And we need it on a, on two, which that'll still give us about 60 pounds of soybeans to the acre, and that'll give us our proper population. So now that the planter's set, we can go. And for some of you that are not familiar how this planter works, I know uh, uh, a couple of viewers have told me that they enjoy how I explain things. So I'll go ahead and I'll explain. I've explained this planter before, but we'll do it again. So the way this planter works is the wheel turns on the ground. When the wheel turns on the ground, it turns the seed shaft. When it turns the seed shaft, it turns these white wheels and they flip soybeans out into these cups. When the beans fall in these cups, they're blown by air to each row. They drop out the row, the disc opener opens up a, a slot in the ground, they drop out, the seed firmer holds them down, and then this closing wheel in the back spins on the ground and throws dirt over them. So the way that the, be the beans get blown through is by this hydraulic blower back here. This blower creates air pressure and wind, forces the air through here, and then the seed cups are mounted to the front of that, and it blows the bean right through. So that's how that works. So uh, this is 15 inch rows, uh, and there's 24 rows. So that's how it works. So let's get started, see what we can get done today. Well, we're off to a good start this morning. Conditions are perfect. Too wet, not too dry, no dust. It's going to be a good day of planting, I think. The problem is, if nothing exciting happens, we won't have no good YouTube content videos. Or won't have any good content to make videos out of. So maybe something will break today. We'll see what happens. But it'd be nice if it did. Now I am kind of going at an angle compared to the way that the uh, field was planted last year. So there's actually quite a few corn stalks from the uh, year before last. So I'm going at an angle to the corn rows that were originally here. But last year was beans, but you can still see the corn rows. So this is the uh, basically third year in a row of this farm's going to be no-till, which it's high sand anyway, so it really doesn't hurt it to be no-till. Hopefully it'll trap some of the moisture that we've been getting from this rain and it'll stay wet for a while. Well, we're all done here, so we're going to fold up and we're going to go to the next field. Now we might run back to the shop first and get some fuel. And then uh, 
probably just throw in another box of beans because it'll fit now. So. There we go. We're folded up. Now we can go. So, yeah. I'm going to run back to shop. I'm going to need fuel. And uh, I'll just go ahead and throw another box of beans in and I'll be good for a while. I won't have to bother anybody to help me get beans because my uh, battery cable's not here yet for my truck. So hopefully today, fingers crossed, UPS will bring it. So we'll see what happens. Uh, it's really uh, starting to suck without my seed tender and truck because I can put a box in the front and a box in the back. And if I got the same variety, I can put two boxes in the front or two boxes in the back. So it, it really uh, speeds things up when I can just do all that at the shop, bring it to the field, and auger it in the uh, planter and go. Instead of dragging the bobcat and boxes all over the place. So let's get to the next field. Well, while I was back here at the shop putting fuel in the tractor, I uh, was doing my inspection. And I did find one little issue we have here. The uh, clip fell out of this pin. So I'm going to have to go in the shop and get a get a uh, clip to put back in that pin because that would be a bad deal if that pin fell completely out and that wing unfolded going down the road. I don't know what happened to the clip. I don't know where it went, but I'll get one put back in it. On oh, Here's Wilson. Wilson's... Uh, Enjoying the beautiful day, aren't you, Wilson? Yeah, you having a good day today, Wilson? Yep, he wants in the shop, he wants a can of food. I guarantee it. So, I'm gonna grab a clip, get him a can of food, and then I'm gonna head to the field. Well, got that clip put in, and I uh, went ahead and grabbed my uh, new uh, Pit Viper sunglasses, as you can see. Figured that, uh, they work good for coal to corn star. I figured I'd try me a pair out. See how they work for me. So uh, who knows? Might up end up buying a pickup from Whistling Diesel, digging a few graves, farming out in Iowa. You never know where the Pit Viper sunglasses might take me. I know uh, my buddy Drew, he's been wearing them for a long time. And I, I jokingly told him, when I got them, I said uh, that I got the the Drew Big Time Farmer uh, starter pack here with these sunglasses. So, got to fold the uh, planter back up since we put that clip in. I won't slam it this time. I slammed it the last time. Well, I guess I slammed it that time too. It don't really hurt. It's got rubber bumpers that sits on anyways. Okay, let's go to the field and see what we can get done this afternoon. Should have a pretty, uh, should be pretty smooth sailing. I got plenty of beans as you can see, so I want to come back here for a while. Got a full tank of fuel, got Wilson fed, he's happy, so let's go plant. Well, I will say that I really like the Pit Viper sunglasses. I think they're pretty damn sweet. Uh, it's real nice wide view to look through and and just a just a nice color to everything when you look through them and really like them I give them two thumbs up I'm gonna see if I can get me a couple more pairs so uh, so I guess if they call Cole the corn star Cole the corn star does that make me Brandon the bean star since I plant all the beans I suppose I could be Brandon the bean star I suppose but anyways I will show you what I don't like and when I started this video this morning, I said, well, I hope everything goes smooth and there's no real eventful uh, events to the day. But uh, I looked out my back window and something didn't look quite right. Let's go over here and look back this way. As you can see, my left wing does not line up straight with the rest of my toolbar. And I'll show you why. That's why right there. So dad strengths bringing a bobcat and we're going to get this wing folded back around where it goes and then I'm going to get it folded up 
and we're gonna take it back to the shop and we're gonna spend an hour or two welding this back up and we're gonna put some gussets here I've been looking at this for the last five minutes and I've come up with a good plan how we're gonna fix it so uh, we're gonna get her back to the shop and get her put back together so I can finish planting this afternoon so yeah I shouldn't have said that this morning because what can go wrong will go wrong but uh, anyways on the plus side of things I really like the pit viper sunglasses so that, that's things are looking up on that today so okay let's uh, wait for him to get here and we'll get her folded up and we'll go back to the shop and fix some stuff I've straightened it out some. Might have to cut some stuff apart. Well, Dad Strength and I came up with a plan. We are going to take this wing off. And uh, we already started. We took the uh, seed tubes all off and took all the keepers out of the uh, pins. So we're going to take the pins out. We're going to unpin this whole wing. We're going to get the bobcat in the trailer. And we're going to set the whole wing on the trailer since the tool the toolbar of the planter is actually fine on the tractor side uh, We don't need to mess with it. So we'll just take this whole wing back to the shop and we'll cut this hinge all off and Weld it all back up and we'll probably gusset it like they did on this side Which I don't know why they never done that on this side to begin with but they should have yeah. but Henniker toolbars are kind of notorious for breaking like this it doesn't matter if it's a cultivator and anhydrous applicator or an air seeder these are their weak points so and also another weak point they have is right here in the seed cart you want to keep an eye on those and these were all already plated by the previous owner of it before we got it and they done a nice job of it so we're gonna go uh, get some lunch real quick and come back and get the rest of this tour apart. I gotta get go back to shop and get my plugs for my hydraulic hoses so them aren't leaking oil all over the place while we have it tore apart. And we'll grab the Bobcat the trailer and get her back to the shop. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the hoses off the marker cylinder. We're gonna cap them. I've got my cap set out here that uh, I got off of Amazon. There's a little bit of oil in there, but that's okay. But at least by capping these, it'll help keep that cylinder from moving while we're moving the wing around. We've devised a plan that we're going to uh, C-clamp the whole wing to the forks on the Bobcat. We're going to pick it up, and we're going to drive it up on the trailer, and we're going to chain it all down and take it home with it fastened to the forks of the Bobcat. And that way it'll hold it while we're cutting that hinge off and re, uh, redoing it. So i got to grab some of the mess stopper plugs and we'll shove these in the hoses. That'll keep the dirt out of the hoses at least. Just shove that right in there. And that'll wedge in there. It'll keep all the dirt out of the hose. Oops, I need to push it in there far enough. Hard to do it one-handed so that'll keep the dirt out of them and keep them clean they work real nice so okay let's move on to getting our pins drove out and uh, see if we get this wing off well I think we're ready to uh, pick it up and drive up on a trailer with it we got a clamp to the forks and uh, we just got to finish taking the pin out a little ways it's just stuck in there so when we we're moving the bobcat around that the wing didn't tip forward. But I think this should work, so let's see what happens.
go any better than that. About as easy as it gets right there. Yep. Okay, let's get her back to the shop and get her fixed so I can finish planting this afternoon. Well, we made it back to the shop, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the torch and finish cutting this hinge off. Because we're going to clean it all up and start over. Because there's just no way of peeling it back around and welding it up. It's all cracked on the back side too. So we're just going to burn it off and start completely over with it. Well, here's our hinge. We got it cut off. You can see the original tube is actually partially stuck to it and broke. So we're going to go ahead and clean all this off. Dad strength's truing up the end of the tube a little bit. And then he'll grind all that off. And uh, I'll get this ground all flat and cleaned up. And then we'll get her welded back on and we'll get some gussets made for it. And uh, be able to put her back together. We got everything cleaned up. Now the tricky part is we got to get that hinge welded back on that tube straight and true because if it's a little off you're going to notice it so uh we're going to come up with a plan on how to get it perfectly straight and uh we'll get it tacked up and then we'll start welding and uh get it put back together so we had to actually shorten this tube a little bit because it ended up breaking part of the tube off onto the hinge so we had to shorten the tube just a little bit so we didn't have to fill in so much weld but we didn't shorten it that much you'll never notice that so that was no big deal well with a lot of measuring and using a level we got it as close as we're gonna get it I think it's not like we're building a space shuttle so it's it's so close it's not even funny if it's even off so we're gonna weld her up and uh, see what we got what do you think does it still look good I think it still looks good yeah let's weld it up and we'll see what happens what are we out at this point nothing we could go order a whole new wing they'd probably laugh at us but no we'll fix this one we'll make it right So, so far, we've got welded across the top, we've got welded down the back side, and welded down the front side a couple passes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this gusset in here to give that hinge some more strength over to that tube to uh, hopefully make this so it never happens again. Um, that tube is really thin. I can't believe how thin wall of tube that they use to make this toolbar out of. But... Uh, this will really, really add a lot of strength to it because the, the pull is always back, especially with the marker hanging out there so far. It's constantly pulling back on the end of that toolbar. So by adding this here, we'll, we're pulling farther out. So this should make a huge difference. Well, there we have it. We're ready to go back to the field. Got it all welded up. Got the gusset put in there. I didn't get much welding video because dad strength and i took turns on it so uh nobody really wants to watch two grown men weld so uh anyways there it is we're gonna head back to the field now and uh, see if we can get it put back on and see if we can salvage the rest of the day planting well there we go wings all back on ready to go again perfect everything turned out great look at that fantastic it's all straight all folds nice we're good to go let's go plant some beans well we're back planting now everything's going really good planters holding together that's a good thing so uh anyways i figured we'd just end this episode right here because we've got plenty of content for this one so i don't want to get it too long funny this morning I didn't think I was gonna have any good content for this video but it turns out that we ended up having a pretty good video for the day so uh, just glad everything went together so smooth came apart smooth went together smooth and I was able to get going again because I did not want to lose today is a good day of planting so I'm gonna try to at least get this farm done today 
and uh, if I can get this done, I'll be real happy. So, well, this evening, I should say this evening, because it's already uh, 5.30, I think it is, but I want to get this video edited and get it up, so uh, y'all can enjoy it later today. So, uh, or why do I keep saying today, tonight, later tonight? So, after dinner, if you want to sit down and watch my videos, I'll have a new one for you to watch. Because I know I do have some viewers that watch me every night, and I appreciate that. And, uh, it takes a lot to uh, do a video every day. It's like a part-time job in a job. But, uh, I enjoy doing it. I really do. I like to bring you all along with me. It's, it's kind of fun. So, let you see my world through my eyes, or through my camera at least. So, uh, anyways, thank you all for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Make sure you give me a, a like and maybe go ahead and share my videos with others. I'd appreciate that too. So anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Probably tomorrow.